El problema es una cuestión de concepto. Quiero que vean eh, el video que voy a compartir ahora. Eh, es un video muy, muy sencillo, pero muestra con claridad el sentido común. O sea, un sentido común eh, que se perdió porque nos quieren vender algo que no es. O sea, básicamente nos quieren vender eh, algo que no es. O sea, perdimos el sentido común común. Presten atención, saquen sus propias conclusiones, repito lo de siempre, no es un ataque hacia aquellas personas que viven esta realidad, que lo decimos siempre de la misma manera, eh, cada persona lleva su propia cruz y nosotros tenemos que acompañarlos, acogerlos, eh, sostenerlos, pero anunciarles la verdad, o sea, eh, decir la verdad, que es algo que cuesta, que muchas veces se dibuja, que muchas veces eh, se trata de ocultar para no, para no generar eh, discordia y muchas veces porque es más fácil, ¿no? si yo te digo sí, te digo lo que vos querés escuchar, eh, es más fácil, o sea, no tengo que pelear, no tengo que discutir. Pero repito, no se trata ni de pelear ni de, ni de discutir. Es una cuestión de sentido común, de anunciar la verdad para que aquel hermano que está en el error eh, al menos comprenda cuál es la verdad y después en su libertad decida aceptarla o no. Este médico lo explica con muchísima, muchísima claridad. Presta atención. How would you define a woman, Mr. Walsh? Uh, an adult human female. How doesn't a transgender woman fit that definition? So you, what you're saying is that a quote-unquote trans woman is a female? By the definitions I'm familiar with, yes. So how would you define female? Through my training in healthcare, there are several different categories for how we define sex. People bring up pr chromosomes. People also bring up hormone levels. Lots of people don't fit neatly into a gender binary, even people we don't consider to be intersex. It's a complicated spectrum. What is a woman? What is a female? What do, what do these words mean? It's complicated, and I know you're not going to like that answer, but that's because there are no simple answers in human biology. Let me ask you a question. You guys, well, you hang question. on. I, just let me finish. You guys like to bring up high school level biology classes a lot. I get that a lot. But people who go on to more complicated biology classes will talk about sex as a spectrum. It's not. You're responding to a health emergency. Biological male, somebody with a penis, is, uh, is having a medical emergency. And they say to you, um, I think I'm having a miscarriage. Would you... Would you Check them to see if they're having a biscuit. Would you consider that a possibility for them? Look. <laughs> no, but that's because some people don't have body parts. Doesn't mean they're not a woman. Okay. Sounds like we've established there are some people who, in principle, can get pregnant. And there are some people who can't. So there's two categories, otherwise known as binary. Lots of women can't get pregnant either. Yeah, but they're still of the nature to get pregnant. And she can go to the doctor and find out what that thing is, even if they can't fix it. So that proves that women by their nature can get pregnant, because the simple fact that she can't shows you that there is something wrong. This is what is known as the exception that proves the rule. Whereas if a male with a penis can't get pregnant, no doctor on earth is going to run tests to see what's wrong with it.